Let's talk about why gear doesn't matter and story is king. Something so special about getting out in the woods, it's really drives me to want to create, but um, I've been a videographer now for over six years. So that's kind of hard to believe, but I've been doing this for a while now. And one of the things that happens early on in your career is you have a tendency to chase gear, but I always was like, if I could get that camera, then my gear would, or my shot would be better. If I could just get this new lens that the quality of my work would be so much better. And I did two things that most people do is I focused on visuals, which don't get me wrong, is important. Quality, which is super important. But I really neglected the fact of storytelling and sound design. So that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. If you're a brand new creator, why gear isn't that important, especially in 2021, and why it's more important to pay attention to the other things if you wanna get ahead of everybody else. So let's dive into it. So sound design, it's not exciting. It's hard as a videographer because we're visual to get excited about spending money on gear for sound and then learning sound design. But I figured out, man, I am out of shape. Golly guys, that's where I was at. Whew, I gotta get out more. But anyways, it really will set you apart as a creative um, and it kind of submerges people into your videos. It really makes people feel like that you're there. It's another sense that we forget about because we're all visual. So uh, study sound design, invest some money into some equipment, um, get some good audio because the way our brains are wired, we'll forgive a bad video if it's got good sound and good sound design. But if a video is really polished visually and the sound is garbage, you'll turn off of it. It's just the way our brains work. And I know that's been covered a lot, but seriously, pay attention to those things um, and you'll be way ahead of the game. So invest into sound design. I'm out of shape guys this is ridiculous so let's talk about something that most people overlook and it's kind of boring when you first start off but storytelling is king and the reason I say that is because we live in such a crowded space today digitally uh, there's so many people doing what we do that your job as a videographer is to portray somebody's story in an interesting way that's gonna make people stop the scroll so you might not know this, but most people scroll the length of the Eiffel Tower every single day on social media. So your job is to craft a visual story that makes people stop, not only stop, but stay and watch the length of the video. So storytelling, I just want to encourage you, and I'm not going to get into that really deep because there's so many videos online about that, but focus more on storytelling. Figure out how you can sell that client's product retain customers for them, and make people remember that video. And one of the most powerful ways you can do that is to submerge somebody in the story. Every story has to have conflict. Figure out what that conflict is, um, figure out what the resolution is gonna be to the story, and implement that into your creativity when you start uh, story blocking and writing off the concept for these videos. Keep that in the back of your mind and implement it in the story, and that's just another step where you're gonna be ahead of other videographers that are in this industry. I hope those tips and tricks really helped you out and implement those into your daily workflow. It'll make a huge difference. 
spend some time studying story, spend a little bit of money on sound design, learn that, good, good audio equipment. That's gonna set you ahead of most people just by doing those two things. So, all right, I'm gonna get out here, try to get in shape, finish the rest of this hike, try not to pass out, because I'm horribly out of shape. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, oh my gosh, oh. Huh. <sighs>